I'm gonna go over there and work on my barbecue grill. At least begin. I'll go ahead and open the box and see what's in there. This stuff's gotta be cleaned up. My little petunias are standing right up. Probably should have put four in there instead of three. All right, Mr. Charlboro, what's in the box, Ox? Offering me a hundred dollars off on something. All right, this is a Chinese jigsaw puzzle. I got nuts and bolts over here, parts over here, more parts over there. Got pieces over here. Got boxes over here. Got more pieces over here. Got some thingamabobs here. I got a box full of stuff over here with some rollers. Looks like we're gonna need some channel locks. We got pieces laying out here on the ground. You know, I could have bought this thing already assembled, but we couldn't haul it in that little port escape. I said, we'll assemble it. So I'm going to spend two hours today putting this cotton picker together, I guess. It's a very warm day. We've been busy as bees around here today. Check out this propeller I made. I've been staining them with alcohol ink. I painted that one with red spray paint. I had some silver spray paint up here, but the can's clogged up and I couldn't get it to work. So I just painted it red and I don't know if the paint's going to stay on there or not. But it sure looks nice painted. Spent a good two and a half hours out here this afternoon putting this barbecue grill together. Now I didn't video any of it. This cover we bought for it cost 30 bucks or thereabouts. It's a little bit too tall when you roll it over here in the corner when we cook we're going to just pull it out here but when you roll it, it rolls up on the wheel i guess you have to put the cover back on after you roll it back and it's one of those stainless steel ones i'll show you uh, more detailed pictures of it first time i make a cooking video but it's a really nice looking barbecue grill but me and the wife got out here and put it together, and she don't like to be videoed, so I didn't turn on the camera. But I'm telling you, it is heck to get old. Had to get all down on your knees and on your butt to get down there and put all these pieces together. And believe me, we put every piece of this barbecue grill together. All the sides and the backs, and had to assemble it all. We wanted to make sure we had all the parts and it was properly assembled, so we did our own. We couldn't haul a fully assembled one back in her little Ford Escape anyway. But I took my time and got it put together looking pretty nice. I haven't given it a trial run. I'll put some soap bubbles on it and make sure it's not leaking before I fire it off. But I got down there on the ground. I couldn't get my butt back up two or three times. Wouldn't put a wife out here operating the screwdriver, it would take me twice as long. My darn old knees is wore out. But it is a nice day. I haven't been looking for my hummingbird. I don't know if he's still around or not. Whew. I already made my dump run today. I had to cut up that 
cardboard box and all the styrofoam and stuff that was in there. My expedition was full of trash. I'm hauling all that stuff back up to the landfill, uh, to the dump. It's not a landfill. But I got it done, took the household garbage at the same time. I'll show you something here. I've been doing some trash picking today. They have a scrap metal bin over there at the dump when I threw the trash away. When I was at Lowe's, I was going to buy another trellis like this one here for the rose bush. But I didn't. They cost like $15 and something apiece. And I need two of them. So when I was at the landfill, I saw the scrap metal bin laying over there. I don't know if you're supposed to take anything out, but nobody was looking. I got two of these things here, and it's made out of the same kind of metal that that trellis is. I can take the old for sale sign off of there, chop that in half with my angle grinder, cut this one in half, and use them for cross pieces, and pretty well manufacture an entire trellis out of that one sign. Since I got two rose bushes, I can use both of them signs. I ain't got nothing for sale, but I'm sure I'm going to put that metal to use. I bet if you went and bought metal like that, it'd cost you 10 15 bucks. But it was right there. I was unloading cardboard out of the back of the expedition, so I just loaded that up and brought it home. Another little project to work on. Like I ain't got enough to do already. Can't get over how big my cedar tree has grown. That thing was about one foot tall when I planted it some years ago. Dug it up out in the woods. Anyway, just a little update. Well, I'll tell you what, that Easter lily, it's got the strongest odor. You can smell it from plumb out there on the walkway. Well, I don't know if you used to call it an odor or not. It's a sweet smell of flower it is what it is our air conditioner here is getting pretty well wore out I think we're going to need another one pretty soon I don't know if I can get through another year with this old wore out thing or not but we're going to try we won't turn it on until it absolutely gets too warm it's a good well we're in the shade here but it's 78 degrees right here in the shade I worked up a sweat out here putting that barbecue grill together. Ain't a sign of no breeze blowing out here. That pinwheel's gonna make a liar of me. It's starting to move. Maybe there is a little breeze blowing up. Some of the pinwheels, uh, some of the whirly jigs out there are spinning now. They went not moving a while ago. Every one of them spinning. Anyway, not much of a vlog today. I appreciate my viewers tuning in. Appreciate all the comments you have and participation in watching my videos. Be sure to reach down there and click like on some of my videos. If you like them, that is. If not, that's fine too. I do appreciate you watching my videos. This is Pete Walpar, sitting around taking it easy. Thanks for listening.